In this video, we'll talk about Jeff Bezos' private space company taking a setback with a rocket crash. It looks like private space companies still have a long way to go considering their rockets still exploding after takeoff. But let's not judge here because NASA just canceled their Artemis flight for the second time. We're all in the same boat here, so let's find out what really happened on the launch pad. First up, Jeff Bezos' Blue Origin mission suffers a setback. The richest people in the world have taken it upon themselves to ensure human beings get to experience space commercially. For that purpose, people People like Elon and Jeff are pouring billions into their private space companies to be at the forefront of space travel. But great things come at a cost, in this case, an expensive rocket crash. People were baffled by Bezos' flight last year to the edge of space, and now they're expecting to get the same setback for a few hundred thousand. But the company recently suffered a setback from which it needs to recover to get its rockets back into the air. A Blue Origin flight was scheduled for liftoff from West Texas before something unexpected happened a few minutes into the rocket's flight. It was Blue Origin's fourth mission this year, and it was the first launch without humans aboard in over a year. A video was published by Blue Origin, which showed the very moment when the rocket's booster caught fire and caused difficulties in the uncrewed flight. It was the company's 23rd New Shepard mission, which was aimed at sending NASA-funded experiments and other payloads to the edge of space. The payload was supposed to float for a few minutes in microgravity. It was a simple mission, but an anomaly occurred for which Blue Origin was not ready. The New Shepard was roughly five miles above the ground when it boosters engines flared up mid-flight, which was caught on camera. It looked like kind of a devastating, and people were relieved that no one was aboard. Exploding rockets in mid-flight bring back painful memories for some, so it's always difficult to see something like that. Up next, Blue Origin's new Shepard rocket crashes but saves precious cargo. Jeff Bezos' Blue Origin was supposed to carry NASA-funded experiments and a few other payloads to the edge of space in an uncrewed mission, but only after a minute, the booster's engines flared up, but thankfully, the capsule's abort mission system triggered successfully. It jetted the craft away from the exploding rocket and parachuted back to safety with the cargo intact. According to the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration, which regulates the launch site safety, Blue Origin's booster crashed with a designated danger area. Blue Origin even tweeted on the matter, saying that the capsule is escape system worked successfully and that there were no reported injuries, they were happy to report that all personnel are accounted for and that the booster impacted the ground. Blue Origin's rocket capsule system has flown about 31 people safely on account of the sub-orbital space tourism business. This means that the company takes paying customers about 62 miles high in the sky, which is just at the edge of space, and lets them enjoy a few minutes of microgravity. The capsule then returns to Earth under parachutes and no accidents have been reported up up until now. It was quite a shock for Bezos and the gang when the rocket crashed because before this mishap, it had flown eight times. The Blue Shepard even touched the sky 15 times before its first crewed flight, so losing such a reliable piece of machinery was a big setback. Coming up, the latest malfunction behind Jeff Bezos' new Shepard rocket. It was reported that billionaire Jeff Bezos' private rocket company had to abort a mission mid-flight because of a propulsion failure. Just only a minute after leaving the launch pad, the booster flared up but before it could engulf the entire thing, the motor pushed the capsule clear. The capsule returned to the ground with a soft landing while the rocket crashed someplace else. The accident occurred about 28,000 feet in the sky, with the rocket moving at an upward speed of 700 miles per hour. If we talk about the new Shepard, it's a state-of-the-art reusable rocket designed by Bezos' brainchild, Blue Origin, that regularly carries customers to the edge of the sky. On top of that, it's capsule that carries up to six people while the rocket itself is 60 feet high. Despite Despite being its 23rd mission, New Shepard couldn't bear the malfunction even when its capsule ejected technology worked fine. A senior director at Blue Origin said in her in-flight webcast commentary that they've experienced an anomaly with the flight. The flight was carrying 36 payloads largely paid for by NASA from research institutions, students from across the globe, and academia. The experiment New Shepard was carrying out what amassed as observed and exploited specific conditions of weightlessness. This particular weightlessness condition can be experienced atop the capsule at somewhat 62 miles above the ground. Unfortunately, there will be a thorough investigation by the FAA, but the good thing is that if there has been people on board, the capsule's ejection system would have kept them safe too. Following up, Jeff Bezos' uncrewed rocket explosion under U.S. aviation investigation. It's always a big pain in the butt for space communities to have their rockets and ships grounded, even when Blue Origin's new Shepard has over a dozen flights. The recent boost 
booster explosion can't guarantee its place back in the air until the U.S. Aviation Authority gets through with their investigation. Blue Origin would need FAA's approval before they can put it out on another rocket. The Aviation Authority would need to sign off after they'd launched a full investigation about the eruption during the flight. The FAA stated clearly that they will thoroughly investigate and determine the safety levels of all processes systems, and procedures related to the accident which can affect the safety of the people. While Blue Origin has argued that it was a payload mission and no lives were involved, the FAA is not budging, and they'll go through the designated procedure. Blue Origins has admitted that the cause of the explosion is still unknown, and they're investigating on their own. The propulsion failure triggered the capsule escape system in which no public proprietary or lives were harmed. Up next, a space coalition expected between Blue Origin and SpaceX. The U.S. Has always prioritized space travel and now Vice President Kamala Harris announced on Friday that the government is working on a coalition between two of the most accomplished private space companies in the world. According to the White House statement, they want to broaden the country's aeroscape specter and create a major coalition between Jeff Bezos's Blue Origin and Elon Musk's SpaceX. The two billionaire geniuses working together? What a sight for sore eyes. Not only these two, but Richard Branson's Virgin Orbit will also take part in this historic coalition and will widen the scope of future space travels and opportunities. Acting the space race and putting their hands on cosmic resources is America's priority and apparently very crucial for their national security, so they want all hands on deck to grow the country's aerospace sector. The coalition is expected to make waves in October and even have three pilot programs. Northrop and Lockheed Martin are also set to anchor this amazing collaboration. Lockheed Martin's spokesperson revealed that they're looking forward to working with industry partners and the government to increase access to space travel and ensure a capable workforce for maintaining America's space goals. And finally, does space tourism have a future? At first, people wanted to pay to stay in the best place on this planet, but now they want to pay more to get off this planet. A little cryptic, right? But that's how it is. With private companies like Blue Origin and SpaceX making people live the dream of going into space, then why not? Well, yes, for now only the highest bidders and celebrities have gone to the tip of the sky to experience floating in space, but does space tourism really have a place in a world where people are struggling to survive in it? Billionaires think that having a habitat in space can solve many problems on Earth, but how much of that is true? Experts are already claiming that the space tourism industry will be worth a whopping $3 billion by just 2030. So it's safe to say that it's a booming industry that's already booking flights for people and arranging space boot camps for those who can afford to do so. Blue Origin has already taken people 62 miles above the ground after Jeff Bezos demonstrated his company potential for space flight. A suborbital flight ticket for Blue Origin starts at $450,000 and people are paying for it. That doesn't even come close to Elon's vision of putting people on Mars. He thinks he can do it and colonizing Mars would be a great idea. That's rich coming from a person who thinks that the world is faced with a low birth rate. Whether we end up on the moon or Mars, it would open doorways to cosmic opportunities we've only seen in movies. We just hope they come up with wormholes soon. That's a wrap for this video. How do you feel like going to the edge of space in one of these rockets? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.